Seven years of austerity policies and nine years into Greece's harshest financial crisis since the Second World War have taken a toll on the state of public discourse. These protesters are an assortment of pro-European neoliberals, self-proclaimed patriots, the middle class, supporters of the main opposition Conservative Party and fringe Christians. They blame the Prime Minister for agreeing to deeper austerity, but they too say austerity policies could be better implemented by someone else. We need another government to implement our and we call on the current government to resign. We know that the Conservative Party will win the next election, whenever this may be held. We need a government friendlier to European partners, one that addresses that the real issue is not the country's debt, but equal opportunities for all. The country's economy can be bettered with detailed and surgical implementation of agri-policies. In between pop music hits, APA system constantly plays newsreel audio loops of the Prime Minister saying his government would never succumb to pressure from foreign creditors or legislate deeper austerity. All this before the 2015 compromise. What follows is perpetual booing mantras. The resounding resignation call echoes the abstract, vacant message. Too many people who have strayed from God's way and only a Christian patriot prime minister in government can bring us through this crisis. This decadent leftist government has led us to the deepest pit of personal and collective wickedness and wrongdoing, down with the bankers and the corrupt politicians. Some say that austerity feels the same, be it implemented by leftists, conservatives, socialists or any heavily indebted government with no leeway beyond the policy compromise. Greece's non-serviceable 340 billion euros debt, as admitted by the IMF, remains at the epicenter of loan agreements that have tied up the country's state budget to pro-austerity adjustments until the year 2060. Managing Greece's debt crisis in political terms is a battle yet to be won. Even though this protest does rely on the fundamentals of the austerity-afflicted experience, it offers no political breakthrough from the common misconception that a problematic national economy needs only be financially reprogrammed. Konstantin Venizelos, Press TV Athens.